Hey guys, welcome back. I just have to first off apologize that I have been MIA for the last few weeks. Um, I, yeah, I don't even know. I was gone out of town for a wedding one week and then I kind of had like just gotten home and was still like recuperating from like just having a crazy week of traveling and then the next week I was sick and I was also leading a workshop at my church and so it was just kind of like there was a lot going on and I just kind of just didn't feel like I could also do the videos. So I'm sorry, I did do a Facebook Live stream one day. So if you guys are not following me or like if you haven't liked my Facebook page, you should because I do plan to do more Facebook Live streams in the future. And it will probably be just random times when I don't really know what to do or I just like feel like I want to. So um, make sure you head on over there. I'll leave a link down in the description bar for you guys to go and like that page so that you can stay tuned if I do any of those in the future. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm back and I am still a little bit sick, so I apologize for my voice or if I cough or anything like that. I'm just still working on getting better. But, oh my goodness, uh, <coughs> speaking of coughing. <coughs> oh, sick, okay. Um, I have recently got a few requests um, for more like specific type tutorials so like specifics on like doing eyeliner or eyebrows or whatever so I thought I would do some of those videos. Um, today I have done a specific like how to do winged eyeliner and um, yeah, I will do more in the future, um, please, like I just don't know like what specifics people really want. So today I've done eyeliner, but if you guys want me to do one on like, I could do one on eyebrows, I could do one on like skin, um, I could do one on like specifics to just eyeshadow or whatever. Um, yeah, just let me know like what you guys are interested in, so either comment down below or leave a comment on my Facebook page or somehow let me know that like what you guys are interested in seeing in the future. Um, but yeah, today is all about eyeliner, winged eyeliner to be specific. And um, yeah, I guess we'll just get right into it because what else are you gonna do? Okay guys, so I'm gonna move you guys in a little bit closer so that we can get a good angle on this and we're just gonna get started with it. So I'm using the Physician's Formula um, eyeliner pen that I pretty much always use. And um, for you, I mean, you can use whatever you want. I think that, you know, a pen is a good place to start. But if you prefer liquid liner or a gel eyeliner, that also works for this. Um, I personally would not recommend trying to use like a pencil liner um, to do a wing. It's just hard to get like that sharp point that you would hopefully be going for. So the first thing that I try to do is just line the top of my lid all the way across very Thin. I don't want to go thick at all at this point because I'm going to be trying to match my wing up into it and kind of blend those together and that's when it's going to kind of thicken up and you don't want your entire lid to be eyeliner. So starting off just a very thin line all the way across the lid. And you want to just stick really close to the lash line as close to the lash line as you can. And I'm going, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm doing like short little um, sections at a time and, and connecting them together. I'm not just trying to do one long motion because that will help. I mean, when you try to do one long motion, your hand will get shaky and it just will start to look a little jagged and that will keep this looking smoother. So you want to make sure you get all the way to the corner of your eye. And I think this is a really big important one. I think a lot of people, um, when they're doing this, don't go down to the corner. They kind of stop and then they try to do their wing and then it looks a little weird if you don't go all the way. 
So I've done that and I think I'm actually, I know I just said don't make it too thick, but I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker right now, um, but not by much at all. Okay, so there we have that. And now it's time to start the wing at least a little bit. And the way that I do this is I focus on um, making an angle that matches with my lower lash line or my lower waterline. I just want to follow that direction out. So I'm just gonna create a thin line um, following that same um, line for my lower lash line and it's up to you how far out you go I don't like to do super dramatic like intense wings but you could go really far out if you wanted a more intense wing or you could go shorter if you just want like a little baby wing it's up to you I think that's about as far as I want to go and so I've just created that one little line and what I'm gonna do from here is from the tip of it I'm going to bring it down um, and match it up about, oh, I don't know, about a third or like a quarter or a third of the way into my lash line over here. Okay, so now you can see like I just have this kind of space there and I'm going to fill it in. And then I'm just gonna kind of go over the top edge and just kind of match it because it looks a little, like I just want it to kind of blend more naturally into this. And this is part of where we're thickening up the lash, or the eyeliner. And you want it to be thicker on the outside and then move to a really thin line on the inner corner. Okay, so there's one eye done. That's how I would normally do it. And I would do the same thing on the other side, just trying to match it up. And that's where it kind of gets like a little bit tricky is matching it up. But if you follow the same, um, same like routine and you just you know you make sure like when you're doing the line on the other side that it matches up and it's the same length and the same angle it shouldn't be a problem but I'll show you I'm doing the same exact steps but I'm just gonna do it on this eye so Okay, and I mean they're not going to match up ever perfectly like that's just the reality of like when you're doing your eyeliner it's never going to look perfect you just want to get it as similar as possible um, so and, and I always struggle with that because actually the truth is my eyes you know the angle of one eye is not going to necessarily be the same as the angle of the other eye like your faces aren't going to be perfectly symmetrical and that's okay so you just kind of want to like make it make it work you know what I mean so, yeah. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. I think it actually looks pretty even. And uh, yeah, so I just need to put on some mascara and then we'll be set to go. So guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope that it was helpful. 
obviously you know I do it this way and that's what works for me and maybe that just doesn't work for you so you know try out different methods and see what works for you and how you get good results because some things work for some people and some things work for other people I know some people who can do their eyeliner like literally just like start out at the wing and go across and it's like amazing and I'm just like no that just wouldn't work for me so um, yeah, I hope that's helpful for you guys, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.